I'm making this video for a couple different instructors at once, kind of killing two birds with one stone. Um, but a couple of people have had the same uh, problem crop up today, which is that your students do not immediately have access to some of your Panopto lecture recordings. Um, and there is a simple explanation for that and a pretty simple fix. Um, so here's what most likely happened in your course. You probably recorded these lectures in a previous uh, quarter, most likely in spring, especially if this is a class that you kind of had to do that quick pivot online. Um, but when a video is recorded in Panopto, it automatically, by default, gives uh, access only to the students enrolled in that course, which means if the recording was made in spring 2020, only those spring 2020 students can access the video. So even though you copied over the whole course into your fall 2020 shell, uh, those videos are still located in your spring 2020 Panopto folder. Now the good news is there's an easy quick fix to this and it will basically be fixed forever. That you can keep using those videos in future courses, in future quarters, and you can still fix the access settings for those. So to do that, get into a course. It can really be any course, it doesn't matter, because we just need to get to your Panopto recordings page. So click on that. It's gonna take a second to load up because it's a complicated system and everybody's using it all at once today. Uh, but once you get here, what you need to do is, uh, right here by this, folder, you need to click on the little drop down arrow and you need to find the folder for the quarter in which you recorded those videos. I hope that makes sense. Um, in, in my case, I don't have access to your specific folder, but I'm just going to use this one because I do have access to this and it does have some recordings in it. Uh, but you need to find your spring 2020 or whichever class that you recorded those videos for originally, and then click on that. Once you have that, you should see the list of recordings that you made for that class. Uh, that's what we wanna see is that list of recordings. Once we have that, then if we go up here and click on this gear icon to get to the folder settings, and then if we go over to the share, settings here. This is probably what you're going to see is it's going to say who has access, specific people from that course. In this case, the eLearning Academy, only people enrolled in this course can view those videos. Uh, but what you want to do is change this setting to anyone at your organization with the link. What that does is uh, when you copy over this course into a future quarter, including the current fall one, um, then students enrolled in that course can still view these videos even though they were made for spring 2020. So do that, hit save changes, and that should fix your problem. That should be all you have to do is make that change. Uh, and then your students in fall can access those videos with no trouble. Hopefully that works for you.